All right. Welcome everybody to Community Cooking with the Co-op, starring Jamar Ruff, Outreach Manager at the Coos Head Food Co-op, and his outreach co-worker, Tim Bolster, and our cameraman, Alan, behind the um, camera. <laughs> and... We were pointing, but... <laughs> all, all day I've been thinking about tacos. There we go! Day, Alan. <laughs> and and I was trying I was I was trying to I was trying to think if I knew anything about tacos or like when tacos came around and so I kind of just googled it and according to some Baracha Cantina in Henderson Nevada um, tacos were invented as early as 1000 to 500 BC oh. and I guess originally the taco um, was kind of intended as more of a spoon before people had a spoon having a beer and then it and then it morphed into like a taco I'm trying to get us a little bit of trivia for you go ahead jamar <laughs> hello okay i okay <laughs> hey, um, hey, hey paul john yeah. Steve, can you mute them i think they're on uh, oh yeah who's who one's unmuted oh uh, there we go Okay. I think got it. okay, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> welcome to T Taco Thursday. I've been literally itching to make tacos with y'all, by the way. So <laughs> I'm really excited that I can like parse it out and say, okay, now it's really gonna happen. And I am infatuated with like cold salads all of a sudden. So um I was like, well, totally can do like a corn a vegetarian like corn salad on a tortilla with black beans and you know how much I love cumin as well so <laughs> we're gonna be like walking through the process of how to make the tacos but there are a couple steps to making it so we have the black bean portion we have the corn salad portion and then also we're gonna sweat some mushrooms with red onion and we only got hi Micah and so we only have one red onion because the red onion is gonna be spread out across the meal, right? So you don't have to use two onions or three onions, or you have you don't have to like cut half and put half in the fridge and, and wonder when am I gonna get back to that? So um, you can spread it out in the corn salad. I will say that it holds up really great in the fridge and it's even better the next day. So, all right, I'm like, okay, where do we start? So first, let's go ahead. Hey, Jamar, I was going to ask, do, do the folks cooking along need to be preheating anything? No, well, it's nothing going in the oven. It's all stovetop. So awesome. I'm first using my small pot, and I'm going to start with my black beans. I want to put some olive oil in there first. Let me cut it on. <laughs> I'm going to do some olive oil in there, and then, Tim, we are going to prep half of the onion yeah, the, uh, yes so in the olive in the pot we're going to do olive oil and then we're going to saute our onions and then we're going to add our black beans over on on top of that cool okay but first we're going to saute we're going to chop our onion all righty and i got a compost well this won't go in the compost this is going to go for my veggie scrap my veggie um so that, so you'll use just half of this and then put the rest over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have half like half, half of half. Yes. Yeah. So we have different portions. So one is going to be like a half a cup, um, a quarter, and then we'll use the whole for the actual. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> be careful with the chopping. Okay. And <laughs> it's, 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 this is a no chef left behind um, type of thing. So if any of y'all are like halting or have any questions, about next steps please feel free to unmute raise your hand and we'll talk hey yep. micah do you have have you already started prepping your um red onions uh not yet I, so uh what are we what exactly are we doing okay so first you want to go ahead and quarter your um red onions okay so you're gonna like what you'll do is like chop them in half and then do another half Mm -hmm. Like chop them in half and then one half of it, chop in another half and you yeah. have to like chop mm -hmm. those up. Yeah, got it. Oh, uh, Mama! Mama! We're going to be warming up a pot with a little bit of oil in it too? Yes, yes. A drizzle of olive oil, maybe like a tablespoon of olive oil. And we're going to, once that is hot, 
what we'll do is we'll add our red onions to it because we're going to saute the onions first and then add the black beans over into it. Okay, in a now, pot. I can't or pan. Oh, you can use a pot. So I'm using this pepper. It's like a sauce, sauce pan, sauce pot. Okay. That looks wonderful, but you can this you can get it a little bit um a little bit smaller. Oh, you want kind of a fine chop, Jamar? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, Jamar. Yes. I uh, I seem to have a small problem with my onion. That's right. We got What's the problem, here. Micah. I. Uh, it, 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 oh. Okay, so, so uh, we're supposed to uh, quarter it? Yeah, so you're going to quarter it. So the recipe calls for, uh, hmm, oh, it doesn't call for, so a quarter. So if I have a half of onion, if I have half of onion, like this, what mm -hmm. I'm going to do is a quarter will be cutting this in half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to find, I'm going to, Pine chop that and then put that in the pot. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Awesome. So great job. And I know how you were like cutting like this a little. Mm -hmm. Kind of put your so hand you're in. Cutting up half of the onion? Yes, a quarter of it. Half of half. A quarter of the onion. We're yeah. cutting a quarter of it. Yep. So what that looks like is you'll cut a half of, a, of the red onion and then that half, cut it in another half. You got it. I okay. know. We got it now. Excellent. Okay. Oh, so when you were cutting, what you can do is if you like line it up a little bit and then go like this, it makes it a little bit easier to like cut it. You see? Yeah. So you can put your yeah. on Thank you. So my pan is a little hot. I'm going to add a little olive oil. A little or a lot. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the. Oh, there's that signal. Yes. That means that something is happening. <laughs> awesome. And so in the recipe, let me grab my favorite spoon because we all have our favorite spoons in the kitchen. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is the recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of cumin. So you can go ahead and add that in there. And we have not added the black beans yet. So we, we just have and, three three things in there, right? Oil, yes. onions, and cumin? Oil, um, onions, and cumin. And then we'll, once we get, we won't add the salt or pepper yet. Okay. And we're going to just do sprinkles of salt and pepper. But you want to be in a place where you can taste your food. So we'll wait till we add the cumin over. I'm going to add a little bit more because I doubled my batch. Joan, I, I know you said you can't hear us. No. no sound. Oh, no. no. Um. Well, you have a um, no sound. Half a teaspoon of cumin? Yes. Yeah. So I have olive oil and then I have the cumin. Mm -hmm. the onion. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add my um as my onions are sauteing them, I put them in a hot pan. And so what I'm gonna do now is add my black beans <laughs> over to it. Joan's going to try. I told Joan to try signing out and back in. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The black beans are in the pot, right? Yeah. The black beans are in the pot. We're going to have that on a nice simmer. Jamal, That's Jamie asked rinsed or not? Um. Yeah, you can totally rinse them. Cool. Yeah. Good question. So I have mine in the pot. I'm going to have a simmer because I just want my beans just to just hang out for a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put them in the pot, the black beans. Do I drain them? Of course I yeah. drain them. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Definitely. And you could rinse them if you want to, Lynn. Okay, well. Uh, Jamar? Yes? 
Uh, sorry, what temperature are we supposed to have our pot at? So if you have not, have you added your onions to your pot yet? Uh-huh, yep, I have my yeah. onions, my cumin. And Joan, my can you oil. hear? Cook on a medium heat. Okay, got it. And then we and then we add our beans. Yes, you add your beans, but you're gonna rinse your beans. You will rinse your black beans and then pour them over into it. And mm -hmm. I would add a little bit of water to it as well. So I have some liquid in mind just so that way the beans aren't in a dry aren't in a dry pot. So I add the black beans into the pot that has the onions and cumin. Yes, yes, yes. And maybe do like a half a cup of um, water as well. Uh, wait, uh, Ingen, were we supposed to use, were we supposed to use like dried beans? No, absolutely not. From the like, can is great. From the can. Oh, from the can. You got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I scared there for a second because I thought, wait, did, did Papa buy a can of beans? And oh, them? no. Uh, and you know what? Because it's Thursday, if you're going to use crushed beans, you, you want to make sure that you prep the day before so you can soak your beans so that way it's a, a lot more user friendly that way you don't have to like boil your beans for hours and hours and hours okay okay nice but for, for a thursday this is perfect years now okay, we're going to yes. okay so now i have i'm going to start looking at doing my mushroom so i won't move too forward how is everybody feeling about going to the mushroom and Micah, I'll wait till you catch up as well. Well, are we supposed to have the pan at again? Because I have my everything in the pan now. Yeah, you can have it at a medium heat, but add a half a cup of water to it, just so that way it's not just the dry bean. Okay. So far, it's just the beans, cumin, onions, and, and olive oil. Right? <laughs> yes. Joan, can you hear now? We're going to move on to the mushrooms. And the new people are ready. Yes. And this is, remember, take a deep breath. We're all cooking together. Okay. <laughs> I did a lot of meditation before we even started. So you did. Don't, I feel witnessed like, it. don't feel like you're having a rush or any of that stuff. You're not going to be left behind. Okay. We're not going anywhere. Sometimes when I cook, if I'm not careful, I can get like flustered a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Dishes everywhere. Uh huh. And then you're trying to make sure everything like cooked at the same time. Yeah. And then you got like multiple. Pots. I didn't measure out that thing. I oh, absolutely, it, yeah. absolutely. I was in a moving slow here. The temperature too high and it's start. Right, yeah. right. And for me, it's like you should see me at Thanksgiving. I kind of have like everything going. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Everything going, all the hours are going, the oven is going, and I probably have a crock pot going as well. <laughs> you know? That's what I realized, like, the importance of measuring everything ahead of time. Mm -hmm. That's something I didn't used to do, and then I get really flustered. Now I, like, I look yeah. at the recipe and I measure everything first, all in, like, little containers and stuff. So, yeah. mm -hmm. so, yeah. Well, and that also helps with when you're shopping in the grocery store as well. So, like, say, for instance, like, duplication. I mean, my dad should be in this in this portion <laughs> because he just goes to the grocery store and that's just what he does and then he comes back and there's like threes and fours of all of this stuff and I'm like oh my gosh how about oh, yeah. you like make a grocery list or you know and so now when it's Thanksgiving time we like coordinate you know and typically if I go to the grocery store with them I'll be like on the aisles and I'll say hey can you run and go get this and while he's away from the buggy, I go and get all the other stuff, <laughs> you know, or else we'll like, he, he just sees it and he's like, I want it. Hey, okay. Jamar, are we um, slicing the mushrooms? Yes. Is everybody at that place where they feel like they can go to the mushrooms? Thumbs up. We have not even started. All right. No, cool, cool, good. cool. So, yes. I'm going to move. for mushrooms. I, yes. So I'm going to move this out of your way, and you're going to go ahead and start um, prepping the mushrooms. You want to slice kind of? Yeah. Okay. They look like half moons, so like slices. Yeah. You're doing great. And here's the thought. So when it's like that. Getting towards the edge. So when you're slicing, right, and you want to bring it in so you can see. So when you're slicing and you're going like this, once it hits that point, go up like that and just 
you get in the same so thing. Steady kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way you don't. Your hands are precious cargo. Your fingers, <laughs> you know. So as I'm slicing, I'm slicing, I'm slicing, and I'm doing kind of like the same across. I'll turn it to the side and just keep going. Cool. Nice. And of course, you end up with more <laughs> with with more mushrooms. Like, isn't that the goal? <laughs> Okay. So everyone saw how we're slicing? Yeah, looks okay. good. And mind you, when you're slicing, put your fingertips, put your fingers on the actual cutting board, just so that way if you're slicing or anything, you're not prone to slice the top of your finger. Yes. And you don't have to use a massive big knife like me. It's just one of my favorites. <laughs> Hold on to those digits. Yes, please. And so while you're going to finish the mushroom, I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil because I got my pan that I'm going to stop getting mushrooms in, okay? Mm -hmm. A little olive oil too, because we're going to split the mushrooms. Oh, I love black beans. Me and black beans have a relationship, okay? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I, can, I can never have enough of them. I like them like mush down a little bit especially on tacos it's like yeah they're, they're the greatest and my friend um esther what she what we would do when we make tacos is she would um make black beans she will blend them and then fry them on top of the stove Ooh. and then put the tortilla in the black beans and roll them in the black beans Ooh, nice. so yeah they were um, amazing and very so spicy was so good oh. um. And they always go good with corn. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so you can put it back in this one. And then what we'll do is we'll saute. So we have another, uh, the other quarter of our onion, our red onion. What we'll do is we'll slice that up and do finely slice it. And we'll saute oh, that and then we'll add our mus mushrooms in it as well. Joan, it looks like you're still connecting to audio. That, that's better. I didn't see that before. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like it worked, Joan. Yeah. Does she have the closed caption option? You know, she might. Do you see a closed caption option at the bottom of the screen, Joan? Oh, she can't hear me. Um, <laughs> I'll put it in chat. Thanks. Thanks, Joan. <laughs> so you all know where we are. The mushrooms are sliced up and the onions too, but we have not even put them in the oil yet. Okay. Onions going in? Yeah, we'll do onions going in. I can hear it now. I guess they can hear me. Oh, yes. We can yes! hear you, Joan. You made it to the party. <laughs> oh, I'm so high tech. Thank you. You are. <laughs> Great. I'm glad it worked out. Yeah, yeah well, now you're in. If you just carry on, I'll try to join in. Okay. Well, and Joan, if you have any questions, please ask. Yes. Um, we will totally walk through all of it. Yeah, yeah, I'll just uh, blend in, carry on. Okay, great. So I wasn't supposed to put the, 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 the onions in the beans earlier? Yeah, so what we're doing, do you have any, do you have any onions left over? Yeah. Okay, how much onion do you have left over? I have this much left over. I, I put half an onion in the beans. Okay, so you were supposed to add a quarter, but no problems. Okay. Um, just divide what you have um, in, like, in half. Okay. For later, right, Jamar? Well, so what we what she'll do is one half is gonna go in the um in the mushroom. We're gonna saute the mushrooms with red onion, and then the other half we'll just use in the corn salad. Cool. Okay. No mistakes. Right. Awesome. 
And more onions and beans, it's like, <laughs> that is okay. <laughs> yes, that is okay. And what we'll do is after a while, we'll um, sample our beans. We'll start adding some salt and pepper. I haven't added it yet. Um, and I always don't, I never heavily salt dishes because nine times out of 10 folks are going to add salt anyways. Sure. But I do kind of like go in and add it just for the flavoring. But I'm also... Um, tasting my food while I'm cooking. Okay, Stephanie, do you have any any um, education to share about black beans? <laughs> Sure, of course. Uh, black beans are, or all beans are a good source of soluble fiber and soluble fiber um, not only helps to lower cholesterol and regulate blood sugars, but it's the main fuel for our healthy micro bacteria in our gut. And they uh, in turn release extra nutrition and um, short chain fatty acids, which fight disease. Nice. Bam, bam. Right? Go beans. <laughs> I would have said the exact same thing if Jamar had asked for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my Steph, would you also say it's a good source of low fat protein? Oh, obviously, yes. Uh, beans are the main protein substitute for animal protein. And obviously they're beneficial or um, more desirable because they don't contain saturated fat or cholesterol. So um, it's a double bonus. Awesome. High protein, no fat, cholesterol, plus all those added um, fiber benefits. Nice. Thanks, awesome. Paul. Thanks for joining us, Steph. Oh, my gosh. An expert. <laughs> Sorry, well, I, off my camera. Whoops. There's an expert in the building. Yes. Woo. <laughs> okay, so my onions are sauteed down. We're going to add the mushrooms over that. They're just going to hang out. We, so. we often know the dishes are healthy, but it's nice to know why. <laughs> right. A lot of shrooms. Yes, but they're going to cook down. Right. More the better, yes. More the and, um, if you want to, if you want to um, stir them around. Yeah. And I'm going to clean up a little bit because once we finish cooking, we just want to be able to dive into some food. Yes. And as we start switching around, it's okay to kind of take Take yeah, a moment a to time, catch like, your breath. Take breath. Yeah. Yes. And Jonah, do we do you need any help getting caught up? Oh, go ahead and unmute, Joan. You may have to. Am I on? Yes. Yes. Good. Uh, I'm in the uh, sauteing the onions. I'm getting, the, I, I'm using mataki mushrooms because these are at the farmers yesterday. So beautiful. I think wow. it Oh, they're yummy. Those look amazing. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sauteing, just go right ahead. Thanks, Paul. Okay, no problem, Joan. Okay. And we do have, Joan, we do have um, Auntie M as that's what co-opers call you. <laughs> if you would like to, with your black beans, I have them in a saucepan and I have, I did rinse my beans, but I have a little liquid in there as well. So I did olive oil, cumin, um, a quarter of an onion diced. Great. And you got Jack's quality black beans. Perfect. And then I haven't added any salt or pepper or anything like that. So if you add your beans, Drain your beans, add them to the pot, and then add like a half a cup of water to it. And then you'll have, wait, sorry. First, step one, olive oil. Step two, diced onions, saute those, and then we'll add our beans over. Oh, those smell good. Okay, so what I would like for you to do is let me pour a little pepper in this. I want you to sprinkle some salt and pepper on this. So you have salt, pepper. And when I'm doing my onions, my mushrooms, I try to make it very simple. As far as like seasoning, because you already have onions. They're already cooking in a cast iron pot, pan. <laughs> this, is my, this is my baby. I take it everywhere I go. <laughs> and then we want to keep the seasoning simple. So I'm going to reduce the heat, but add a little, sprinkle some salt and pepper over it. Perfect. Nice. 
Can you give it a stare? Yeah. Smell of cooking mushrooms. Beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so while we have those sauteing, we're going to move on to our corn salad. How does everybody feel about that? I get thumbs up. I think everybody's well, and John, how are you doing? It. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Okay? Yeah. All right. So the corn salad is just something that you can just make ahead of time and just put to the side. Cool. And just, you know, the longer it hangs out, the better it's going to taste. So with the corn salad, I think I know the recipe. No, I'm just kidding. So what we're <laughs> going to do is we're going to do our prep. So I rinsed my corn. Some of y'all have fresh corn. I know we sold out. So I it's okay that you don't have to cook your fresh corn. It can be, um, you can just use the ear. But if you cut it, you want to just cut it straight off the top, okay? Cool. But be careful. Yes. So if you're... If you are cutting it, I should have got one, but if you're cutting it, hold it down and cut down. Don't try to like have it unsteady and cut, you know. Micah, do you have canned corn or whole corn? Uh, for me, it's uh, canned corn. Cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. So what I did was I, I drained my corn. I have it in a bowl ready to go. And so um, let's go ahead and prep. Because what we'll do is we'll just start tossing stuff into our corn mixture. So first, if you want to prep garlic, mm -hmm. it calls for four to five cloves of garlic. You know, I never do this four to five cloves of garlic. But mm -hmm. um, we're going to peel those. And is everybody familiar with peeling garlic? Okay, so we're gonna what peel. What was the question? I'm sorry. Is everybody familiar with peeling garlic? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel four to five. You really did four cloves of garlic. <laughs> I do a little bit more. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> yeah, it's a roundabout four. <laughs> um, but what we'll do is, yes, so, and I'll help you Great. peel. Okay. I can actually help you peel. Cool. Yeah. And so what I do is like I'll just mush it a little bit, put it on there. There we go. Oh, there we go. And I got my compost bucket. Nice. I was just making pickles, so I was filling a lot of garlic the other day. You're making what? Pickles. Pickles. Oh, nice. I had a major event last this week. This past week, so I was self caring by cooking. So I did <laughs> one with pastries, the other one was making oak and okra and all of that. You know? So, but the event now, went really well, right? It did. And now I'm doing like um, pickles tomorrow. Nice. With some of the um, staff here at the co op. Cool. So I'll bring my canner in and show folks how to make pickles. Nice. Awesome. Fun. Cool. Okay. You got it? Yeah. So we got our our garlic going. Ooh, beans are hanging out. The mushrooms are just like, yeah, we're sweating. <laughs> and the more what what is happening is as your mushrooms start to cook, they'll start releasing moisture. And once that comes out, then they'll start caramelizing and being very very yummy. Okay, you know, where did you put the garlic? We haven't put it anywhere yet. We'll just, we just. So, yes, the garlic is going to be diced, chopped finely, and that's going to go into the corn. So, everything that we prep now is going to be building into our corn salad. Cool. So, I'm going to prep our onions, and I'm going to just slice the onions. You can do a rough chop, but you want the chop to be kind of synchronized so that way you don't have like different. Big chunks or nice, not big chunks. You want onions to be throughout the corn dish. Am I chopping up these garlic? Yeah, okay. you're going to chop those up really nice. And then everything that we're prepping now will go directly into our corn. Cool. How's everybody doing? I'm so excited. 
I will tell y'all, like when I go to the farmer's market, um, <laughs> Tim gets the luxury of hanging out with me at the farmer's market, <laughs> but I always break away and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go somewhere. And I always come back with so many vegetables and almost always Wednesdays are taco night in my house. And they're <laughs> always like loaded with different vegetables or any like the freshest, the freshest of the freshest. Hey, uh, Kathy has a question, Jamar. She said, okay. did you put salt in the mushrooms to make them sweat or just no. sauteing them alone? Sauteing them alone will make them sweat. Good question. Yes. That is a great question. Totally. But I just added a little salt and pepper just for seasoning. Okay. So right now, oh, those look good. There. Feel free to unmute if you have any questions or throw them in chat. I like the smell of fresh garlic. Uh, so, so right now I'm with the garlic. So we just get uh like five like say like five cloves and then we finally cut it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. Yeah. And then and then with the onion, onion we do we just take another quarter and then chop that. Yes, you're gonna chop that as well, and you're gonna finally chop the onion just so that way you have onions throughout your corn salad. Okay. Nice. Yes. Good questions. Thank you for asking that. Totally. And I have my onions on low because you don't really want to overcook your onions. You want them to still feel like meaty, even though they're not meat. You know? mm -hmm. So um, just taking our time. And that's where the take a minute to do a deep breath. <laughs> know that there's no rush. Our goal is going to be 630. Uh, go and ahead, I Joan. You had a question? Um. I'm thinking I switched to a little bit of butter with that olive oil because that's just how I usually saute this. Kind of okay, thing. absolutely. Yeah, all right. And cool. then the garlic I just chopped is going to be used raw, is that right? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. All right. Then I use a little less. <laughs> <laughs> good. Thank you. I'll uh, do the opposite of unmute. What's that? Mute. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. I'm so high tech. <laughs> you are. <laughs> You're rocking it, Joan. I am. <laughs> you did a fabulous job, Tim. Thank you. Yes. And you were chopping with some confidence. There you go. <laughs> you weren't scared of the produce. <laughs> I, the think, I think teachers are proud, nice. Tim. <laughs> Yeah, we had a vegan barbecue the other day. So Tim was like, his, his focus was prepping all of the vegetables. And then as we started making the skewers, I was like, oh, this is a lot. We made over 100 skewers. Nice. It was delicious, though. Yeah, it really was. When was this? Yesterday? Yeah, so we do vegan barbecues on, uh, I, I, I don't know, like the third or fourth Wednesday of each month. What we post about it on social media and in our email newsletter and things like that. Cool. I'll keep an eye out. It's always on a Wednesday. Awesome. End of the month. So if you want to go ahead and put your garlic sure. over on that and you want to do the onions as well, I'm going to just stir my, my beans. I'm going to make sure I'm moving around my mushrooms. Oh. Looking pretty. Those mushrooms look lovely. Yes. And then we have the black beans over here. In, in typical Jamar fashion, this is looking like quite the color palette. Well, you know, you got to eat with your eyes. I know. So it's like, especially like the corn salad, it's summertime. This is fun and you know it really tastes good as well. Yeah. Okay, so 
Now, the next thing what we're, we're going to add to our, so we have, oh, let's prep a half bunch of, a, a half of the cilantro. Okay. And so that is going to be finely, finely chopped. So I'm going to put the garlic in the corn salad, right? With my yes, onion? the garlic with the onions. Yes, so, so far we have uh, corn, we have garlic, we have the red onions, and now we are moving on to the cilantro. Have you chopped full cilantro? Oh, yes. You yes. Can use, yes. yes. Everything. Cool. Stem, Stem and everything. Yep. The Stem and everything. That's what I Stems and all. All right. That was correct. Yeah. And you're going to just keep folding it in, yep. Yep. like how you're doing. Go ahead, Joan. So for those of us who um, don't do cilantro, is there another herb you want to sub in? Oh, you could probably do parsley. Uh-huh. You do Let parsley, do John? The garden. Oh, whoops, no parsley today. What do you have in your garden? Just lettuce and normal garden. To, hey, but how about a dry? I got everything in the dried spices. Okay, do you have, give me, um, what about dried? Oregano? Um, you can do oregano or maybe basil. I don't know. How about the sitar? How about which one? Sitar. Sitar, G A T A R. Sitar. I'm really fond of sitar lately. You're really wanting to, you really wanting sitar? I like sitar. I'm thinking of putting it in unless you tell me not to. <laughs> Go ahead. Go for it, John. Okay. Start small, though. Start small, and then we'll build it up. That's okay? Awesome. Yes. Oh, very good. And if you want to wait till the end, Oh, it's a I don't know what Zatar is. Has somebody got the Google machine? I'll go so get it. Zatar, that's the thing. Zatar is a, it's a spice. It's the Middle East. Spell spice. it, Jamar. Z A A T A R. Right. Now, I don't know if that's the correct spelling, but it's a, Middle <laughs> Eastern, it's a Middle Eastern spice. And so that's why I'm thinking, I mean, I would either use a green herb. That spice is just, it can be, um, it can be a lot, so I wouldn't use it right now. I would try it, try out the corn salad without the herb first to see, because you're adding some more spices like cumin and um and smoked paprika to okay. it. So yeah, so try it and then we can see what that looks like. Okay. Yeah, I'm turning off the mutey thing. <laughs> so now you can go ahead and add the cilantro over. Yeah. I used that Google machine uh, Joan was referring to and posted a little uh, Zatar thing. Did I thing. spell it correctly? I think you did. Good job, Jamar. It's, it's Z-A apostrophe A-T-A-R. Okay, yeah. I just missed the apostrophe, but I still get points at the spelling bee. It looks like it's a blend of <laughs> verbs. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to Reduce my heat on my mushroom. This is happening. It's happening. It's happening. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is half of our feta cheese. Now, BioLife has some vegan feta cheese. That's very great. I mean, I, I love it as well. And so this, your hands are going to get crumbled. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can crumble it up. Did he add the cilantro to the corn mixture? I, the last I yeah. saw, he was chopping it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so right now I have um I have the corn, the garlic, the red onions, and then I have the cilantro. And now we're breaking up the feta cheese into small pieces and then we'll give it a whirl and then we'll start adding our mayo. Now mayonnaise, like you can there's so many different options. You can use avocado mayo, you can use blue, well I wouldn't say blue cheese, you can use yogurt. I'm using vegan aid. Um, there's so many different options out there on the market right now. So that way you can make an all-inclusive um, all inclusive corn salad. Okay. So my beans are just hanging out. Oh, Salad's looking the good. The fact that these, I had a dream about, <laughs> you know, when I was making domas on Sunday and my friend pulls out of her fridge like 
a big jar of caramelized onions and ever since then I'm like I need to do that so I got like these massive onions from Connie and so this is what the those onions are reminding me of like nice. I need to do that so I think uh, I think Micah has a question hi Micah <laughs> go ahead Micah uh uh so just to recap so right now I have my my corn in a bowl, my my uh, chopped my chopped uh, garlic in a bowl. My on my onions are chopped, and then my and then my beans are on, and then my beans are ready. I uh, like my beans are uh, cooking. Uh, cool. What okay. uh, what do I do with the onions? Do I just like leave it in, in a bowl? Or? So well, so with your onions, it sounds to me that you have your corn in one bowl, the onions the garlic in another bowl right oh, oh do, do are we combining them now yes you're gonna so your, uh, your goal, the end goal is to make a corn salad so uh, in your uh, corn, you're going to add your garlic your red onions you're going to add the green the cilantro as well to it mm -hmm. and then you're also going to crumble up your feta cheese and add that as well okay nice and then you said something about mayonnaise too yes yeah, so the um mayonnaise so the the corn salad base is mayo, and so you can use two tablespoons. Okay, great, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. And he's just adding a quarter of the onion to his salad, right? No, I added the rest of it. So right now there should be no onion hanging out. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Okay, and um, half of a uh, half of a block of feta cheese like that. Half of this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Half of a block of feta cheese because, oh, you got my favorite cheese. <laughs> uh, there's a, an array of feta, you know. I, feta it should be my, it's my love mm. language. So, <laughs> buy me a block of feta and I will love you forever. Anyway, <laughs> what we'll do is we're going to add um, some mayo. And I'm using vegan aids just because of dietary restrictions here at the co-op. And so what, yeah, so if once you um, want to give that a whirl. And how much mayo did you put in there again? I did two tablespoons. Two I'm tablespoons, all right. All right. Jamar, you're muted. Alan, can you unmute Jamar? Yeah. Thank you. Hello, hello. hello. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sometimes I have to mute people because of the noise. And when the thumbnails move, I accidentally do the wrong one. Uh, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're going to do a little, uh, little sprinkle stop. I'm lacking an assistant oh, tonight. A little sprinkle of um, black pepper. And then I'm going to do. I'm going to start out with maybe a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. That's all. <laughs> Can you believe it? That you're using smoked paprika? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. How much smoked paprika? I'm just doing a half a teaspoon. Okay. It smells good. Mm -hmm. I would have never thought this is where the mayo was going to get used. Really? <laughs> yeah. So have you ever, what inspired the corn is, have you ever seen um, the traditional like corn on the top with mayo, coetta cheese? Oh, and then, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So just imagine that in a salad, right? All right, I gotcha. Perfect. Okay. So now that's going to hang out. You want to, you want to try it? Yeah. Okay. I gotta. I don't want to give you that phone <laughs> because it's like a glob of mayo on it. <laughs> <laughs> like sway your sample. Yeah, yeah, it might have effect things. <laughs> Delicious. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's really good. <laughs> hey. Nice. That's what I like to hear. That's the goal. <laughs> it's really delicious. Really good. It's 
So it's really simple, right? You know, and then, um, okay, so I got to just get ready. <laughs> I got to get organized. Well, that salad's only like what? Four or five ingredients? Yep. Yep. Nice. And it gets, it just gets better. You know, that's the cool thing about it. Oh, yeah. Sounds like it's a, a nice side dish. Yes. yes. Totally, Melissa. So if you are invited to any summer barbecues, make sure you show up with that, okay? <laughs> you got me. You got my word. <laughs> And you don't have to cook anything. No, I mean, yeah. that's just a, a, me looking in the fridge and like, okay, what do I got? Especially on a, on, a, on a night like this, you can also add it over a green salad. Oh yeah. You can, yeah. You, if you don't want to use, do mayonnaise, you can do like an olive oil, rice, rice wine vinegar, lemon juice or lime. I would use lime um, just to give it a little zing. Yeah. But there are so many different ways that you can actually make the salad and tailor it to your diet as well. Awesome. Look at us. Look at Go us. ahead, Micah. You would have thought. <laughs> okay. So. Hey, uh, so are you, so, uh, uh, where's the, oh, here we go. Uh, this, is this what uh, my salad's supposed to look like? Yeah, that looks good. Great. Did you add cilantro to it, Micah? Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Great. Got some cilantro, and then uh, also, uh, see here, and then th this is what my beans look like. Okay. Look, looking good. That looks good. And what I just, look like? What I just did was I did a little bit of sprinkle of salt and pepper. Start with a sprinkle. Yep. Start tasting your food. How many people have tasted their corn salad? Huh? What was that? Well, have you tasted your corn salad, Mr. Micah? Huh? Uh, not yet. See. Oh, you got to grab your Yeah, spoon. give it a taste. Let us know how it is. Okay. I, okay, think, I think here. Micah didn't add his cheese yet and his mayo. Oh, Micah. Oh, the cheese. I, I kept thinking, what, what am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? The cheese. Okay. Yeah. Did, you add, did you add your mayo, Micah? Uh, yeah, the mayo is okay. in there. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I think, yep, here, I got the feta. Okay, my desk. All right. Yeah. And you might have to sit your phone down so that way you can open up the packaging as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks. I'm just checking. He, I think he didn't add the smoked paprika either. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Micah, did you, did you add smoked paprika? Uh, yeah. It's, oh. it, yeah. Good. Okay, okay yep, my bad. No, thanks for looking out, Melissa. <laughs> no problem. Okay. We're getting close, aren't we? I know we are. So okay. I'm starting to move. So like the goal is to have stuff still hot. So I'm taking my beans off the heat. I'll put them over the I've lowered the heat on my mushroom at this point. And as I start, as I start plating up like heating up my tacos, I want to go heat up a taco and build my plate. Heat up a taco, build my plate. Yeah, you mean the, the tortilla, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Tortilla, not taco. I thought that's what you meant, but. <laughs> okay. Like, we don't have a taco to heat uh, yet. Hey, <laughs> I don't. But also, what I love about this is sometimes I'll make tostados. So I will fry my fry my tortilla, my corn tortilla, get it really crispy, and then have it build it on top of that. Nice. Okay. So oof. you can use a nonstick pan. I normally do it in my cash app, but I did it. Um, I am cooking them in my metal pan, my metal skillet. And Jamar, Mike is just gonna use half of that block of cheese, right? Yes. yes. The other half of the the other half of the feta is gonna act as a topping with the cilantro on top of your on top of your tacos. Cool. How's everybody doing? Lots of thumbs up. Lots of busy bees in their kitchens. Think we're doing good. You always use olive oil when you're heating the tortillas mm -hmm. up. Sometimes yeah. it just depends. My um. And I only do a little bit, but it's just to kind of make sure that it doesn't stick. Yeah. Um, with flour tortillas, sometimes 
if you get the if you put it in the pan hot enough, it'll like kind of crisp crisp over, then it allows you to flip it. But I typically do. Cool. And then put it like that. So you put olive oil in that pan for the tortilla? Yeah, just the drizzle. You okay. only need a little bit. Thank you. And I always do double tortillas. Me meaning you heat two at a time. Yes. One on top of the other. Yeah. yeah. And I have some, but you'll see me use my hands. <laughs> After I once I get it, once I get in the hang of it, I'm like, oh, time to go to the side. <laughs> Micah, you ready to start heating your tortillas? Uh, yeah, so, uh, so, so we're heating the tortillas right now, and then for my cheese, do I just, uh... Oh, you're going to crumble that half of it up into your salad. Okay, great. Got it. Thanks. Good and question. then the other half is going to go on top of the tacos as toppers. Got it. Yep, nice. So if you want to, you can actually, like, go ahead and crumble your cheese up and start, like, a lining stuff up to where once you do tacos, you can go ahead and start building it. So that's what you're going to be doing. Great. We'll do a little bit of black bean. Maybe I'll move some stuff and then mm -hmm. we'll put some cilantro and then we'll do wedges of lime. Because you can't have tacos without lemons and limes, right? Oh, yeah. Somewhere. At least lime. Yeah. If, you're, if you're keeping those up in your cast iron, would you use any oil in them? Um, just a little bit. You don't have to. Yeah, I usually don't. Yeah, I usually pretty fine. But I also love cooking them on top of the grill as well. Oh, sure. So the only thing with this is like it's kind of ancient. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it takes a little bit of time for heating them up. Once they start getting cut the line, oh, yeah, absolutely. Dead mother. It's always my question. Do you, when you cut a line, do you go a long ways? Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yes. I go long. Oh, yes. Yeah. But try to, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And then how you make a wedge is it's almost like, so what I do is go like this. Oh, interesting. Wedge. Avocado. Avocado. <laughs> wedge. And then I do another one. Right. Good job, Tim. Yeah, thank you. Tim, you're doing so amazing. You all are doing so amazing. Definitely. How's it taste, Micah? This is delicious. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to heat up my tortilla. All right. My mouth is watering as the tortillas in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> and then uh, my beans, like they're starting to like uh, smush and crack. Should I take them off? Or yeah, you can reduce reduce the heat, pull them off. Add a little bit of salt and pepper to my beans as well. So remember we added the cumin. And so the next portion, what we'll do is. Okay, nice. Everybody's so content in their kitchens. I thought my sound went out. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
we have to do tamales. Oh, one. yes. Oh. But wait, are you going to make the masa? How are we going to do that? He's with the lowest tamales. For example, Maybe Bob's right now. But Melissa, you were asking a question. So you put two tortillas on top of each other in the frying pan. Yes. You heat, you heat one side and then you flip it over. Yes. And you'll see that they're sticking, they'll stick together. Oh, they'll stick together. Okay. Yeah. How's everybody doing in their kitchen? Doing good. good. Thanks. Thumbs up all around. Everybody's looking quite busy. I like it. That's okay. Put tortillas in there? I'm not just putting one at a time, flipping it, taking it off? Well, if you want to, but I'm doubling mine up. Okay. That, that way you're kind of heating two at once. Okay. I get it. Awesome. You, do two, you do two together. Oh, yeah, I do two together. Hi, Sammy. Yeah, like I think the plan here is to serve the taco on two tortillas. Uh -huh. right? yeah. like, it's the vehicle. Dirtier. Oh, you are going to double them. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. But so it's no problem if they stick. Yeah, Lynn, no fret. If you want to just have them single, you get more out of the pack like that. So it is okay. And you could always put two of the ones you heated together. Yes. There's no one way to do this, basically. Heck no. Make it your own. I love this. I love the corn toast. Corn tortillas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, smell. And then what we'll do is, if you want to grab one of those plates, so we'll make up like maybe six. All right. This is the exciting part. You want me to start grabbing these and start? Oh yeah. So if you want to, what we'll do is, well, you might want to crush some of the um crushed oh. butter up as well, just so it makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. Get that corn salad. Sal looks good. Mm -hmm. And what we'll do is we'll do like. All right, Joel, enjoy. We'll do black beans first. Do black beans and then mushrooms. And what I'll do is I'll bring this a little bit closer to you. And if everybody could please send me pictures of their completed tacos, I'd appreciate it. Y'all have my um, email addresses in your Zoom confirmations. Awesome. We'd love to see your finished work and share it on social media and YouTube and whatnot. Oh, there you go, Joan. Joan's getting down. Oh. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, I think Jones awesome. listening to Aretha too, Jamar. Are you? <laughs> nice. I, I call it the riding the diva train. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is what, we ride the diva train. All right. Yes, okay. We well, the beans, just the black beans, mushrooms. Yes. Yeah. So we'll do black beans at the bottom. Uh huh. Um, and you can <laughs> kind of drain off a little bit of. No, nope, we're doing good. Go okay, ahead. Cool. And then you want to, and you can spread them out a little bit just so they cover, yeah. but a little bit goes a long way. Cool. Absolutely. And then now add your mushrooms over there. So you start with a thin layer of the beans. Yes. Then the mushrooms. All right. Look at that. Ya tu sabe. That means you already know. <laughs> okay. So now what you're going to do is add some of your corn salad to it. Oh, okay. On the oh yes, it's going in the taco. Can I see an aerial view of that? Can I see what you guys are doing down there? The uh, yeah, avocado. Thank you. So far, we have a the bottom layer is black bean, some mushroom on top of it, and the corn salad on top of that. Nice. And, and then, then what you want to do is, um, yes. Yeah. So do your cilantro, so that way you have like black beans, mushroom, um corn salad, cilantro on top, and then oh, you'll yeah, add you oh, on top of that your um, feta cheese. And you know how I feel about threes. So <laughs> we'll, we'll fill three tacos on a plate and then we'll have a wedge of lime beside it. 
You're doing great. Nice. Nice. And the goal is eat with your eyes because you want your folks that are going to be visiting you. If they're going to be eating, you want them to be already full before they even have one of these combos. <laughs> awesome. Enjoy, Jamie, Francis, and Dana. All right. Make sure y'all send photos. Yes, please. They said, yum, we're off to eat. Nice. Same with Jello. Joelle. She finished before Thank them. Thank you, guys. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Lynn. Enjoy. I'll never send us some photos. I will. Thanks, I Lynn. Appreciate it. Thank you. Take thank care. You. Bye. Thanks. So long. Yes. Don't let us have your uh, tacos get cold. Go ahead. Take a bite. Let us know. My 14 year old nephew is on his second one and he wants more. Oh, awesome. that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. It's Thank always you, a fun time. time. ATM, you have a question? Joan? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's just me, but I would like just a little bit of something cold, crunchy like lettuce. Absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, possibly if you're doing dairy, a little tiny dab of sour cream. What do you think? I think that's great. I think that's great. Okay. I don't think it would hurt. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't have it. I have yogurt. I don't think that'd apply, but. Uh, oh, you're doing this. Yeah, I mean, yogurt is good. Kind of and you know what? So, Hoopy has a really good sour cream. Yeah. Um, I just want to say that their sour cream is pretty amazing. Um, it's so I, I, cool, but it's pretty amazing. And if you want real dairy without lactose, Green Valley is my favorite. So good. Hi. Okay. They make uh, lactose-free cream cheese, cottage cheese, sour cream, yogurt. It's all really good. Well, I do dairy, but I just do goat. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Never mind. That's all we'll right. We do it. Later. We do it every month. <laughs> we'll talk later. Thank you. Uh huh. Yummy though. Nice. I would make the uh, cashew cream, just water and or soy milk or whatever with ground cashews, and you can add a little um, garlic and onion to it, and it makes a nice cream. And you can make it any thickness or consistency you want. Nice. And, um, yeah, it's delish. Yeah. Wow, that sounds good. Thanks, Patricia. Enjoy your tacos. You want to show them the aerial view? Yeah. Just so folks can see. Right. Wow, that looks nice. Oh, yes. Tom, Tim, why did I call you Tom? Tim <laughs> did an amazing job. Yes, good job, guys. Wow. Oh. It looked kind of sloppy to eat. <laughs> oh, there's gonna... a little bit. Most delicious things are. <laughs> I would definitely double up on the napkins there. Uh huh. But I feel like doubling up on the tortillas is going to help with that a little bit. True, oh, yeah. true. That will help. Absolutely. Missing, uh, I'm missing the red. I would add red pepper or fresh tomatoes maybe on top too. Oh. I think that would kind of perk it up. Yeah, I did. Um, so what I did was <laughs> I put smoked paprika as an accent on top as well. So that way you'll have like the, the corn and then the smoked paprika as just an accent on the white um, feta cheese. But yeah, fresh tomatoes. Oh, and it's tomato season right now. Yeah. Joan, Sorry. was that a little ASL there? Yes, you recognize. Yes, I'm learning. You have to join my monthly <laughs> ASL program. <laughs> Micah, how you doing? So my tortillas, uh, they're cooking and I'm getting some toppings right now. I got some sour cream, avocado, and if I can find them, the tomatoes. Okay. Oh, okay. You're going all yeah. out. Cool. Yeah, and then I should have them ready in a few minutes. Awesome. Show you guys. Good job. And remember, my kids, to send a photo as well. Yep, I will. Appreciate you know, that. Like, you're a community cooker with the co-op legends. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and actually, uh, Jamal, so I had a, I've, I've had this question, uh, last time I stopped in the co-op, I saw this thing 
on the checkout. It's like a, it's like the biker's discount or something. Yes. Biker sticker. Yeah. Yes. I, had to, I was just curious about that. Yes. So that's a program that Tim is actually launching. It's 5%. Um, it's a 5% discount when you ride your bike to the co-op. Mm, that's, yes. yeah, that's nice. Yes. This better includes skateboards, Tim. Help. <laughs> a sticker that you stick on your helmet, you show it to the cashier, and you get 5% off for riding your bike, which is pretty awesome. Wait. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'll, de I'll definitely have to get it next time I stop by. Nice. Yeah. Michael, did, have to... Go Michael ahead. did you get the bag I gave to your dad? Her, oh, yeah, yeah. The It was at... Uh, the cooler bag? Yeah, the cooler bag and then the shopping bag inside of it. Nice. Yeah, I cool. got that. It's awesome. Cool. That that's uh, we just wanted to show a little appreciation for all your hard work. Thank you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Awesome. Okay. Uh, avocados. Put myself on mute. And, and you guys are welcome to go eat your uh, tacos. We don't want anybody's tacos getting cold. Is, is anybody cooking along who still has some questions or needs a little help finishing besides Micah? I think we're doing good. Thanks for joining us, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Micah, how are you doing? I think he's about there. Uh, yeah, I'm just yeah. getting to assemble the tacos now. Yeah, so after you get a thin layer of beans on there, you're gonna wanna add your mushrooms next. Okay, nice. And then, uh, and then, yeah, and then with the beans, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have to, when my dad makes uh, rice and beans, I'll have to tell him to just put a little onion in there because it really gives it that extra kick. Yeah. Okay. It's good flavor, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Here, okay. I need a bigger counter. And then we do, so the black beans, the mushroom, and then we're going to do the corn salad. Okay. Yeah. I know, right? The serving sizes are amazing. The serving size is what? <laughs> so we, we had, we made, I mean. Sam, we really made the perfect amount awesome. for us in terms of the amount of tortillas we have and mushrooms and everything. It's built out really well. Cool. I planned it that way. No, I'm just kidding. I totally <laughs> I always make a lot, and so I'm always. We're either um, some some of our some of our participants know that I cook at around this time, so they'll stop by the co-op and be like, "Hey!" And so they always. I'm just food. dropping in. I'm just <laughs> dropping in. You know, I wasn't able to make it. Oh, it smells so good, and you know, like yeah, we totally will give you some. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, avocado. And you got avocado on yours? Oh, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah you have the avocado. Joan, are you in the woods now? Uh, well, you know what? I'm in my lettuce garden. Nice. I got the, I got the blur on. Oh, okay. I'll figure out how to get rid of the blur and get back to you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm actually think, like just making a little bit of like almost walk for the tacos. Cool. Did you build the rest of your tacos though with your mushrooms and your corn salad? Uh, yeah, they were over here. Oh, uh, my family didn't actually. They actually didn't want to do the mushrooms this time. Oh, so okay. I've been uh, cooked without them, but otherwise, but it's still really good. Awesome. Maybe next time we can do the mushrooms. Let's see. 
Cool. And then that seasoning I'm using there, it's a family favorite. Nice. My dad's, you really love this, like perfect. That Creole, the Creole. Yeah, Yeah, that's pretty, Joan. I call it Vataran. But it's really, um, it's Creole seasoning. Cool. When we do like um, crab oils, if we do like crab oils, we put the whole thing in. <laughs> yeah, and they also sell them like in bags. So like if you do like a crawfish boil yeah. or a crab oil or something, we always do um, satarans or like they have like the um, the syrup that you can pour in. Do you throw the cor- corn in there too? Oh yeah, like in a crab oil? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We do eggs. Corn, oh, potato. eggs. Interesting. Oh, my gosh. Egg. And then especially if you, like, make, um, so, like, you can use that seasoning to make a butter sauce. Uh-huh. And you peel your egg and you dip your egg in the sauce and you eat it. It's <laughs> delicious. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. We might have to revisit this at some point. Yeah. Yeah. We, well, we might have to do a, an unhealthy community cooking. Well, <laughs> If we did like green crab, green crab right don't, now. Don't listen, Stephanie. Green crab is right now very invasive. So um, I'm supposed to be building a recipe around how to cook with them. And you don't have to make it unhealthy, you know. The oh, stuff, no, of course, of course. I was just the joking. And the butter and all of that stuff. But you can, with those, you can kind of um, incorporate them into a stir fry. Where are you? Those garden spray bits. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, pretty. Lilies. Nice. <laughs> okay. You want to eat a taco? I do want to eat a taco. Eat a taco and let them know how it tastes. All right. Go ahead and eat a taco. Micah, how we doing? Uh, pretty good. I finished assembling my tacos. Or, uh, hang on here. Where's the where's that silly button? Here we go. Yeah, they're not that well assembled, but they look really good. And then I like yeah, to. Yeah, I think they're gonna like taste to really good extra too. Extra grease on my tortillas. Yeah, so to taste them. So us. Uh, well done. <laughs> Delicious. Nice. Mm. Are you got it? Oh, I'm gonna oh eat. man! I'm gonna eat How all. is it, Micah? <laughs> it's really good. Well, that, that is so good. <laughs> that awesome. is so good. I mean, I do like vegetarian. It. I mean, I'm vegetarian, but the vegetarian tacos can be so good, so yeah. flavorful. Oh, my gosh. You can add so much flavor. And- Yes. Beans. Right. And it's really like, you know, they're kind of designed to have like meat be the main thing and then you plan the dinner around it. But take it out and it's like, oh my gosh, it's limitless of what you can do. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think everybody's set to eat now. Okay. My God. <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> so good, huh? Liking it. <laughs> now I have to like go eat like a salad or something. How <laughs> Me <boring>. too. <laughs> I get, now oh, I get man. to go make a salad and eat my leftovers. <laughs> I know. Oh, how sad. Oh, was it your? That was your tortilla. Huh? Oh yeah. I I was I exclaimed because I I realized I left my tortilla in there. Oh. Forgot about it. <laughs> Little cooked. So, Micah, I think you're good to go, right? Yep, this All is right. delicious. Enjoy your tacos. Hey, yep. you gonna share I them will. with your family? Yeah, <laughs> Go ahead. I will. Bye. Thanks. Uh,